after over 300 episodes, two movies, several OVAs, a video game on the way, Fairy Tales anime has finally ended for now. And I only say it for now because I feel like there could be more coming on the way. I honestly think that the 100 year quest will become canon because it's a side story, it's a sequel. Well, I guess whatever you want to call it, but it will be part of the story and it will not be over. I feel like it will be adapted into an anime. I just feel it coming. But guys, it saddens me to say that for the main story of Fairy Tale, it has finally ended. And for this review, I don't really want to make it sound like a goodbye because I will talk about some of my favorite moments in Fairy Tale later on. In fact, I'll probably make a video on my top 10 favorite fairy tale moments. Um, uh, it's just, it's not over. It's just not. I, it's hard to believe the fairy tales ended when the manga, in its own way, is continuing. So, for the main story, it is over. But I have enjoyed this anime. And just to kind of give a quick wrap up of what's going on. We have Akinologia finally defeated with the One Punch Man Natsu. Let's call it like that. Uh, he knocks him out, and Akinologia's last words is like, "You are truly fit to be king. You're like you're the one that should be king." And Natsu's like, "Nope, I don't want to be king of anything." So we have Akinologia destroyed. Everyone's happy. Time lapse happens, and we get to see a little more detail on things like in the manga. It was a little rushed, I think, in my opinion. But here we get to see a little bit of everyone. And that was something that I definitely appreciated. I really enjoyed that they went through and talked about all the guilds. And one that I especially enjoyed hearing about was Crime Sorcier. They have truly, truly have made amends now. And they have finally gotten their, I guess, their freedom... They are finally gotten all their crimes pardoned. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to, like, redemption and, you know, being able to come back from a dark place. These guys especially have been through a lot. And you guys remember we saw them originally, I believe, in part one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Crime Sorcier has stuck around for a long time. Uh, and they've changed their ways, you know. We haven't seen a guild like that other than, you know, the main ones uh, changed their way. I mean, we saw some of the other guilds that were formerly evil, destroyed, taken away, Tartar Rose, you know, Alvarez. And speaking of Alvarez, I don't think we'll be done with them. We did see that we got things being amended with them, and that's nice. But I feel like we'll still see them around, even in the 100-year quest. We did get to see a glimpse of them. Or at least we saw Brandish uh, in the 100-year quest. But not really spoiling there. But they do go for it. At the end, we have that moment where everyone was so upset that Natsu and Lucy should have kissed. They did not kiss. And that's okay. I think Natsu was going to tell her his feelings. Gray has honestly been very... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with Gray. But he's, he's messing around with the possibilities of already getting juvia pregnant like this dude needs to go ahead and settle down with juvia i don't say that in a bad way but i mean that in general he needs to just go ahead and do it natsu's a mixed bag you know so it's okay that he's the way that he is so people that were upset with no kiss between the two that's all right i got that feeling already in food wars and the manga so spoiler there if you keep up with it but now it just ends, and then it, I, I almost choked up a little bit, I'll be honest, when I heard the the opening, the first opening song playing in the background, that took me back, it made me realize how much fairy tale means to this community, to the anime, to me, to a lot of other people, and it's just been so, such a big ride, you know, to have this many episodes, and just a series that has been criticized to no end by many people but then loved by so many others so it's like anything else really but i just i just hate that it ends you know it's ending on a good note for me uh i hope to have it come back at some point and if it does you know i'll be waiting for it and i'll probably review it hopefully i'm not too old by then 
so i i do hope that it does come back uh and for those that really like the story, it still goes on in the manga. Read the 100 Year Quest. I review it. Read it and watch my reviews, guys. That's a that, shameless plug. Just go ahead and do it. It's It'll help me out. It'll help you get some clarity on some things. It's just overall enjoyable. But guys, that is it. Next time we will be talking about Fairy Tail, it'll probably be about the 100 Year Quest or my thoughts on the on my favorite top 10. Let me know what you guys are. What's your favorite moments? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.